Hello, how's it going? Thursday night. So it means it's Europa League again after the Champions League last night, which we won't talk about because Liverpool got knocked out, but there it is. We're going to do the predictions, see if I get them heavily wrong again or if I get them right this time, actually, which will be a first, probably. I think I predicted the Dortmund and City scoreline, did I? I can't remember. Was it 2-1 for that? I think so. Probably. Hopefully. Here we go. Slavia Prague versus Arsenal. The first leg ended 1-0 with Slavia Prague scoring a shock header right at the end after Arsenal and Lacazette in particularly missed countless and numerous chances to put them ahead, hitting the crossbar in the process. For me, Arsenal were better at attacking in that first leg than Slavia Prague were, and they had numerous chances to put the game to bed. Lacazette should have at least scored two. Arteta needs this to save his job, realistically. And my prediction is that Lacazette and Martinelli will score if Martinelli plays. In the last game, Arsenal had four big chances missed, hit the woodwork twice, and Slavia Prague only had three decent chances in the game that I could see. In my opinion, they were quite lucky to have scored at the end. They were quite lucky to have gotten the goal at all, but especially right at the end. So for me, Arsenal should be going through with this when I'm pretty sure that most people are expecting Arsenal to manage to get through this. And if they don't, not only will it be a shock, it'll be a shock to the Arsenal board, it'll be a shock to Mikel Arteta, and he'll be sacked in the morning. Probably not in the morning, but at the end of the season, I reckon. If he loses this, if they go out, if they don't progress in Europe, if they don't get Europe, because they're ninth at the moment. So if they get knocked to this, then I can't can't see them making Europe at all. My final scoreline prediction for this game is Slavia Prague nil, Arsenal 2, Arsenal win 3-1 on aggregate. Then we have Manchester United versus Granada. And it ended 2-0 to Manchester United last time in quite an underwhelming game. But that's been the theme for Manchester United lately. The games have been underwhelming. They haven't exactly been the best games to watch ever, to be honest, from a neutral perspective. Apart from the Tottenham and uh, and Man United game that ended 3-1 on the weekend. Manchester United have three players out due to yellow cards. They're Harry Maguire, Luke Shaw and Scott McTominay. So that's actually one of their starting centre-backs. Their left-back, who has actually been very good this season. And... McTominay who is featured in the midfield as part of that McFred duo in the last one Manchester United were boring they were boring as all hell but still managed to win the game and still managed to score more than one goal which is quite crucial they just have a knack for doing enough in games but enough in the Europa League to get through and to just see the next tie out get through to the next round and then just keep progressing and eventually they just you see the final and they're there or you see the semi-final and they're there they have a knack for this competition they got to the semi-final last season as well Manchester United in the last one though what I will say is they dominated possession and they did create three big chances Manchester United at the moment they've formed they've won three games in a row and Granada are five games in a row without a clean sheet so they're definitely conceded in this one for me even if United just sit back and play possession ball and play backward passes they're still gonna score and as I said United just weren't that good in the first game but they, they did create chances they did still manage to score goals although the penalty was fucking fraudulent I will say that to be honest I don't think they should have got a penalty penalty at all, but they still created chances. My final scoreline prediction is Manchester United 2, Granada 0, 4-0 on aggregate for Manchester United. Then we have Roma versus Ajax, and it ended. Roma 2, Ajax 1 in the first game, despite for me, Ajax being the better side. Roma had a blinding start and a great climax to the game. However, in between there, for me, Ajax were the better team. Ajax created more chances, but they missed more big chances. More possession, more shots, more shots on target, Ajax were statistically the much better team on the night. Tadic was immense and he'll look to turn up again for Ajax and Ajax did lead at half time but Roma do have that factor in, they have Edin Dzeko up top who's actually a quality forward still and of course they managed to do it last time, they were statistically the worst team last time but they still managed to win, they still managed to get the two goals so it's still all to play for and you can't count them out obviously. However, I think it'll be the same scoreline just reversed. I think it'll be Roma 1, Ajax 2. Now, of course, that leads us to a stalemate because that would be 3 all on aggregate. And I think that Ajax will take it on penalties. In the final game, we have Dinamo Zagreb, the giant killers, the ones who have knocked the white side of London out and it's only the red side left, versus Villarreal, who are managed by the former red side of London manager, Unai Emery. Last time, it ended 1-0 to Villarreal due to a penalty. For me, the first time was quite an even game when you watched it. You know, Dinamo Zagreb, they had a goal chalked off, they had a few chances, but for me, the penalty was a bit bullshit, I'm not gonna lie, it was a bit bullshit to me.
But fair play to Villarreal because they had more dribbles, more shots, more possession, won more duels and completed more dribbles than Dinamo Zagreb did. So I think the Zagreb are going to score, but Villarreal are going to be way too good for them. Parejo is going to be key for Villarreal because he was absolutely fantastic in the first leg. 92% passing accuracy and he won 8 out of 11 duels. So my final scoreline prediction for that game is going to be Dinamo Zagreb 1, Villarreal two so then it's going to be three one on aggregate to Villarreal. Villarreal progress if i'm not mistaken here to go through to the next stages of the europa league i've put down arsenal manchester united ajax and Villarreal. so they will be your semi-finalists if my predictions are correct we will see tonight obviously all the games kick off at the same time eight o'clock so it is a bit of a ball ache i'm going to give all my reactions to those games tonight and thank you very much for watching if you have and i will catch you in a bit it's all right